lovable lunatic here just got off work. Now, in my group, the Insomniacs Unite Asylum, my little inmates are doing a topic today on pain and the hardest thing that they've been through. And I'm going to start by sharing some of my stories. First and foremost, I've been through a lot of pain. I've seen deaths. I've seen the people I love the most come and go. I've seen friends walk out on me for doing what's best for me. And it is what it is. It's all, every bit of darkness has made me find the light. And I bring you that light now with my hands untied. No longer am I chained. So let's get into what, personally, the pain that I've been through that's made me the man I am today. Um, first thing, losing my father. It, it was so tough on me because that was my best friend. We did everything together and I started to lose sight during his illness and I grew frustrated with him because I felt he didn't want to do anything and he didn't want to make a chance. It wasn't his fault. He just became so washed up in his life. The things that went wrong, he couldn't do anything to save himself, no matter how hard anybody tried, and that killed me. Alyssa, losing my fiance, walking in, seeing the vision that I seen on that, on that foggy Easter night in 2013, that changed my life to this day and I, I may never be the same from that but at the same time I'm better than I ever been but seeing that was just such a uh, devastating and gut-wrenching vision that I'll never get out of my head but at the same time I've grown from it and it's all taught me to be the man I am today thirdly all them situations that I've been through I made an excuse I used as a crutch to live the life that I was living, to deceive others, to use drugs, to not live my life to the fullest. And it was bullshit, man. It seriously has taken me years to get to be this man that I am and seeing everything for what it is, living my life, realizing how beautiful it is, and truly soaking in every single detail of life. I didn't always be, I wasn't always this guy that you see before you now. I have become the man, I have become a legend in my own mind, I have become fucking awesome. But I wasn't always this way. I wasn't. And uh, quite frankly, it took a lot to get me here. As much as, you know, as much as I want to give everybody else credit, this was in me the whole time. This was my vision. I just was always the do as I say, not as I do type, and I wasn't backing what I preached. I was helping others with my mission, but I wasn't about it like I am now. I wasn't as passionate as. But you can see the man before you. I always have something uplifting to say. I always go out of my way to try to make somebody's day, and I always tell it how it is, cut and dry. There's so many people that influenced me. My brother was big in my addiction, but you know, I hate to say this, but I think I'm better off with, you know, as big as he was, I did it on my own. Like, he can sit there and take all the credit he wants, and I will gladly give him a piece of the pie. But I ain't giving him the whole cake, you know, because I realized at the end of the day, if you didn't do what's best for him, he walked. And he's mad at me now because I won't pay double for a car. It's face value, you know, it ridiculous little child petty shit and I'm not doing it I love the kid I do but if he feels that's the route he wants to go he's better off and I'm better off and I wish him all the peace and happiness in the world and I hope he shines and I hope when he sees me shine he smiles and says yeah that was my boy he made it he made it because I won't forget him I just can't deal with negative energy anymore so many people have been so so supportive to me um even ones that have walked out but if you know you're one give yourself a pat on the back because you're the you're a reason i'm doing what i'm doing and more than ever in the past six months or so i found Alyssa, my father and everybody else in heaven that 
should have been in my heart the whole time. I lost sight. Sitting in a jail cell in January was really huge for me because it was an eye-opening experience. I thought of all my, all the legends in my heart, all the heroes in my mind, and I channeled my inner Seth Rollins and said, redesign, rebuild, reclaim. And that's what it was about. That's what it was about. And it was there that I had a vision, a dream of being with Alyssa and my father and them telling me, dude, we love you, but you're gonna end up with us if you don't fucking stop. And we don't want that. You have a legacy to fulfill. We are cheering you on as are several other people throughout the world that you don't even know you're affecting yet. Go out and find that star, son. Go out and take the world by fucking storm, dude. And I'm doing that now, and I'm proud to say that. It, it, it's so instrumental to me to have an impact on just one life a day. And the fact that I'm doing that, I feel like, is all I could ask for. That means more to me than any amount of money to buy, any material bullshit. And I thank you for it. Anybody who's a part of this, I love you. I love you so much. But this is all on me. If it wasn't for my hope, my inspiration, my dedication, motivation, blood, sweat, fucking tears, and ability to be as strong as a fucking ox and walk through the fire, laugh when life tries to knock me on my ass and say, is that it? You hit like a bitch. Yeah. I've been knocked down. I've been left for dead. Guess what? Still smiling. And it's not a fake one either. I'm still here. And that's not a gimmick. This is all me. Many inspirations. Only one lovable lunatic. Love y'all. And I just dropped my phone.